Here we all eat podcast episode number two, baby. Let's clap it up. Make sure you go like and subscribe this video right now. I'm excited, Mr. One Eat We All Eat Clothing CEO. And in this video today, you're gonna learn how to grow a clothing brand with only a thousand dollars, man. So let's get it. And here's how you can grow your clothing brand with only a thousand dollars, man. I got five steps here. Excuse my handwriting, just bear with me. One Eat We All Eat Clothing Podcast, unscripted episode number two, baby. So here's what I would do if I only had a thousand dollars, man, to start a clothing brand. So first, with me, with my thousand dollars, I'm putting it all in cost of goods. That's right, baby. No t-shirts, no money. T-shirts equals money. So what you would do, you would go buy a bundle of t-shirts. Because if you just buy one t-shirt, you're going to end up paying $10, $15 per t-shirt. So what I would do is go buy you a bundle of 100 shirts, 500 shirts, 1,000 shirts, you know, whichever you can afford. But for me, I started with only 100 shirts and I got a good deal. And I only got my shirts for only $4 per t-shirt, $4 per t-shirt. That's only because I got it in bulk. If you want to start a clothing brand, you got to go all out. You can't start with a couple of t-shirts. You got to get bundles of t-shirts because if you're just paying, if you're just getting five, 10 t-shirts, you're going to pay 10 to $15 per t-shirt and you do the math and you can't make no money off that. So that's what I would do for my thousand dollars. I would put all in t-shirts. Like I say, t-shirts equals money. No t-shirts, no money. Thousand dollars, put it all in cost of goods. Like I said, no t-shirts, no money. Okay, step one, create samples. I prefer Canva. Canva, you can go in there, create, get your logo, put it on any type of t-shirts or hoodies, and then you can send that to your print shop. Or, so um, heat press, a vinyl cut, that's all you need. But if you wanna save time and get those orders out fast, I suggest you find a print shop in your logo. Step two, you need to find your why behind your brain. What makes your brand different from one eat we all eat clothing? See, for me, one eat we all eat. If I'm eating, my people's eating. If I got one eat gear, my people's got one eat gear. So you have to find the why behind your brand. See, at these pop-up shops on your website, people are going to ask you, what's your why behind your brand? Why did you start this brand? What makes your brand different from Nike? What makes your brand different from one eat we all eat? What makes your brand different from Adidas? So you need to find your why. Step three, create a website. I prefer Shopify. Shopify is the number one website in the world right now. Shopify offers a 14 day free trial. So in those 14 days, you can go to step two, step one, get your design, go put that on your website on Shopify, send that link to all your friends, all the, everybody in the community, all your social media buddies, and let them go buy the t-shirt. And when they buy that t-shirt, the money you make off the website from using that 14 day free trial, you can put that money up. And then once that 14 day free trial over with, Shopify will start charging you $29.99 monthly. So with the money you already earned from the 14 day free trial, you can put that up towards your website. So you can keep that website constantly going every month. Cause Shopify is gonna take their $29.99 out every month. Trust me, I know. I'm Shopify's number one fan. One eat, we all eat clothing, baby. Oh yeah, make sure you go like and subscribe this video. Run those subscribers up, baby. You gotta start doing pop-up shops, man. Pop-up shops is the number one thing when growing a clothing brand. Trust me, I know. I do two, I do at least two or three pop-up shops a month. And I tell you, it brings a huge crowd, especially in the community, especially the people who lives around you, man. You get everybody in the community to come to your event and shop. It's a, it's, 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 it's a great feeling, I tell you that. Even if you get multiple vendors to come to your event, hey, get that pop-up shop started, get the world out there to come to your pop-up shop, and man, you'll be surprised how many people will support you. But like they say, strangers really gonna support you, man. Strangers are really gonna support you. So make sure you start doing those pop-up shops, get that merchandise out there, get it out there to the world, man. Do go do pop up shops in your area. Do pop up shops in the city next to your city, man. Just do them pop up shops. You got to get database, man. Text messages and emails are a big factor in going to clothing brand. Why? 
because when you're doing pop-up shops, when people shop with you, you need you need those same customers. You don't need new customers. With those same customers, you get those emails and you get those text messages and you can send them out merch weekly. You can let them know that you have a new drop every other day. You can let them know that you have two ninety nine dollars t-shirts like I have on my website, One Eat We All Eat Clothing. So make sure you go check that out. But yeah, database, man. You got to have database. Text messages, 